What's up, Rockstars? Today, I have the pleasure of unboxing some really cool miniatures for you. And, well, for me too, I guess. So, let's go ahead and take a look at some really, really nice ones. Okay, so saying... Let's look at some really, really nice ones. Sounds a bit weird, but I don't work off a script, so you'll have to forgive me. I would like to start out, before I open this completely, to thank my YouTube members and my patrons. It is through their financial support that I am able to stay independent so that I can give you my honest opinion and not my wallet's opinion. And if you appreciate that and can help, there is a link down below to that. And I try and give you some rewards, uh, whether it's just a Discord or some other stuff like that. A lot of behind-the-scenes stuff. But if not, that's fine. I understand um, that, that's totally fine. A like, a comment, doing both of those actually on the same video helps a ton and I greatly appreciate it. So, and I love chatting with you guys too. So if you want to go ahead and do that, again, you can do that as well. Um, I did get a new cutter thingy. Uh, it's golden because it's royal and the king of average and blast. Anyway, let's go, let's go and open this before it gets dumber. All right, let's see. And we have a lot of like a lot of padding as you can see just a ton okay all right we got one we got two and then lots of padding all right get rid of that get rid of that let's see what's in this oh, 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 oh. got it that was too long Try this a little bit more. So there's actually more. See, I was worried though. I was like, oh, is there only two? But no, I there's plenty. It's just uh, very well packaged. And I got some sweet containers uh, as well. So that's always a positive. Um, let's open up. Wait, <laughs> this is where I do the YouTube thing, right? Which one should I open first? I agree. I'm going to assume you said that one. I've got to tell you to comment down below. Which one am I going to open first? Comment down below. Did you guess right? <clears throat> wow <clears throat> the fumes are strong in that that smells like glue <clears throat> I'm, I'm gonna get high during this video too <laughs> hope you guys don't mind <laughs> man the content has really gone downhill oh look at that oh my gosh oh these guys are cool whoa Oh, uh, we're going to do the, I'm going to open them up here, but I'm going to go ahead and do the, you know what? Let's swap now. Uh, I know you guys want to see this up close like I am right now. I know you're jealous. Um, let's go ahead and do the overhead view and we'll look at the rest of these. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at these. I'm excited to finally take a look at these. Got the camera set up. We're going to go ahead and look right now. And oh my gosh, again, this is incredible. Exactly what I would expect. The f I mean, these are just wonderful. Really, really well done. So these are the masters. Um, so a, a sculpt will be made from this, right? And so this is about as good detail as you can get. I mean, this is just exquisite. There are little tiny details everywhere. I mean, all of it is good. I hope they want me to paint this because my goodness. Oh, man. And the, the brick down here, uh, look at the like, broken one right there. Looks awesome. Let's go ahead and get that out of the camera. There we go. Take a look here. Wow. 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 I love the, the belt strap here as it's kind of wrapped, you know, to kind of control this beast. Just incredible. Really, really, really well done. And for a single cast, I mean, so you can kind of see the difference between just that little bit of difference right there. It's all you need to make this look separate, right? Like, obviously, this builds up into it, right? But just that little crease right there, and now suddenly this sword is separate. And that's what's key there. Um, just looks right. Like, that little bit of gap right there just helps the mold break up there. Oh, man, look how deep this goes in here. Incredible. I love the multi-tiered um, uh, cape. And then, of course, there's this weird, like, tail stuff going on here, too. And then, oh my gosh, this spear. Really, really cool. I love it. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the next one, because I'm just, I mean, I, I just got to see these. So it looks like there's one more here. Take a look here. See what we got. Da-da-da. 
Oh man. Be a long reveal. Da, 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 da. Oh man, still more. Oh, I know who this is. This is one of the characters. He has s such cool outcomes to his story. Um, really, really cool. And oh my gosh, again, the detail um, from the, look, look at the scar across his chest there. That looks awesome. The inlay here, the rope. Ah, oh, the rope with like the scroll holder thing here. Uh, again, with the rope and then the frayed end there. These rocks look incredible. I love the angle. I love the, I'm about to like swing this huge sword. Look at this sword with like the fire going up and stuff. The wings look incredible. I love the style of wing because it has those kind of creases in it. Right, so it gives it that kind of feather shape, but it's not super textured, so I can actually paint in the lines that I want instead of having to just kind of dry brush some texture over some wash. I would much actually prefer that. The detail in here looks great. A little bit softer here than perhaps here. Um, I mean, it is softer here than here, but it still looks good. Um, the hair looks absolutely sculpted, which is, again, very cool, and I love how it's kind of you know, going back that way. This inlay work here looks awesome as well. Just all of it looks so good. So this is like freaking perfect. I don't even see any mold lines. There's actually a tiny bit, look right here, of flash. There you go. Tiny bit of flash. Okay, let's get rid of that. There we are. Okay, it's gone. Now it's perfect. <laughs> Looking super cool. Love it. Again, look at that face. You got the eyebrows. You got the chin and the cheekbones, actual defined cheekbones. Super, super cool. Man, that's a freaking cool sword too. All right, so let's see, we got these two. We're gonna put them right there for you. So I got another box, let's see what's in here. I'm excited, let's take a look. We got spacing. <laughs> here we go, oh, smaller one, huh? What could be in here? Obviously not some big angel with wings, apparently. Got some some Kleenex, and we got, oh, very cool. This is, I believe, one of the guards, the city guards, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. Looks like it anyway. Look at the freaking armor. Now talk about some ornate armor, my goodness. Again, lovely, lovely weapon here. The halberd looks super great. The inscription here, again, is actually a little softer than maybe I would have anticipated, but still looks good. Um, the, oh gosh, that shield, look at that, my freaking goodness. The fact that you can see the face behind the mask is also incredible. This is going to have some of the best minis in any game ever. This is just awesome. Again, love the sculpted bases, especially ones that are like, this is, this is like actually kind of like a rough circle even, right? That's like really good. Love the little bit of a flow here. Uh, that looks smooth as there. The, uh, bat symbols is obviously a vampire. Uh, faction here, right? And that's what the, kind of that signifies, which is cool. I like seeing that. And you kind of get that sense here too. Like these are like maybe wings kind of thing. Um, the inside is also sculpted as you can see. And look at how great he's holding it. Oh my gosh, that looks fantastic. Love it. That looks super duper great. I mean, that just is awesome. All right. Add him to the pile. Um, we, got, we, got, we got more guys. We got more. I don't even know how many, but more. <laughs> okay, let's see what this one is. Take a look here. <gasps> it's a mummy puppy. So I painted two of these as part of the base to one of their miniatures. So I'll, I'll link down below to my miniature painting of their kind of first uh, draft of it. This, again, looks great. This is actually better detail than what I painted. Um, this is really, really good. And an awesome base. I love the soft sand versus this kind of hard broken kind of carve carving here looks wonderful very cool love the skull that's a nice addition here another one here he's stepping on ah oh, this is just again fantastic it's like necrotic mummy dogs are just super cool really really neat love seeing the, the teeth there awesome i'll put him right there and go on to the next one Let's go ahead and take another small one here. I think this is the last of the small ones. Let's see what we got here. We got, aha, yes, Vanessa. She is super cool. Love her um, 
just her whole get up with her like scarred face and everything. Her character is super cool in the story. Um, this is perfect because the resin ones that I got at the beginning, her uh, bow was broken, her crossbow. So it's great to see this completed and looking, you know, good. This is actually, again, sharper than anything. The detail level and everything. Look at the embroidery work there. The um the actual wood kind of root stuff going on here is nice. A big change. The sword. Look how skinny that sword is. Look at that. Love it. Everything's to scale as it should be. We got the bolts here on not on her back, which is kind of silly. Love her hat and her hair. I think just getting super cool. Look how she's aiming with her one good eye. Look at that shooting right at you. That's great. And again, I love how it's like a rough approximation of round, right? So there's there's like these hard corners here and stuff like that, which are just really nice. Put the two characters together. We'll take a look at this one. And there's one more after this. All right. Here we oh yes, the vulture. I made a comment about this guy. I wonder, I don't know if they remembered me making comment or whatever, but I thought this was like the coolest guy ever. I just really liked his character. And again, he's on this like super look at this. It's like some horse that's de dead or something like that. Um, just a brutal thing. Look at the claws there. And but I just love his face. <laughs> like he's like my favorite character ever. Like, how could you not appreciate that? Look at that guy. <laughs> Uh, he needs like he needs a name. Um, so this sounds super YouTubery, but I honestly want to see your suggestions on a name for this guy because you guys, I'm sure, will crack me up. I would love to hear what you would name this guy because he is great. Look at the feather style on him, though. Wow, that is incredible. That just looks good. the the layers are awesome. He gets these little tiny ones up above here, and they get into these kind of big, like flight ones going on. Oh, it looks so freaking awesome. And then he's actually like, even on the back here, look at that. Some incredible feather work here. Super cool. And again, he just looks goofy. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I think I was going to say his name's Steve or something, right? Again, we got the um, textured inside of the mouth, which is super important to me because it's a good telltale sign that people are really paying attention to what they're doing. Otherwise, it'll be flat in there. Um, the tongue, the kind of skinny tongue in there looks great. He just, he cracks me up. I love it. He's great. <laughs> I might have to paint him because he, he makes me smile. <laughs> Glad I got him. All right. One more here. Let's see what the final one is. Let's see. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, I know who this guy is. He's super cool. Look at this freaking guy. Heck freaking yes. Love it. He's like kind of Norse looking, which again is... Um, something that you are not used to seeing. You're used to seeing all these kind of Egyptian stuff. So I love seeing this other race come in. You got like the rune rocks going on in the tree trunk. Again, very kind of Norse Viking style here. Um, looking incredible. Look at the back. Look at that. So awesome. Oh man, these chains here and the little kind of doodads and even like the satchel, which with kind of the little plank things there, the kind of, uh, uh, woodwork across the entire piece of wood and then of course this fancy axe incredible the beard looks great the the kind of uh, armor to keep you warm all that looks good the rope looks great um i love how this is spreading again it, like it's not even really a round base at this point right incredible love it this guy is super super cool I mean, that's just incredible. And again, you can see the the face and the eyes like through the holes and stuff like that. Looks awesome. All right, all right. So which one was your favorite? I can tell you right now, I actually like this guy followed by <laughs> this guy. It's, I think, my favorite. But I am thoroughly, thoroughly impressed with these. I mean, these are incredible, incredible work. Um, bodes super well, I think, for this uh, campaign. If you want some freaking fantastic miniatures to paint, uh, Storm Sunder is your game because they got a lot of them and they're all amazing. Okay, uh, that's it for now. I just wanted to show these off to you as the game progresses. Um, again, they're going to be making more and more of these and they're going to be making final production plastic ones and all that kind of stuff. Can't wait to show you all those. Uh, until next time, I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll talk to you guys.